Tigers, it's Mrs. McCarver. I hope you enjoyed the read aloud of the book, Whoever You Are. It really helped us to think about how we are alike or similar to other people and how we are different. Did you notice some of the things we the, the book said might make us different? What's one thing you remember? The book talked about we are different because we might live in different places. We might look different. Our homes, schools, and lands, or the places where we live, are different. And we might speak different languages. That seems like a lot of ways that we are different from each other. But it also talked about how we are the same, or how we are similar or alike, because each person is a little bit different. We all smile and laugh. There are things that make us happy. We all get hurt and cry sometimes. Just like things make us happy, there are things that make us sad or mad, and that's okay. We all grow and change. Each person starts as a baby and grows up throughout their life. One more way that we're all the same is our heart. Love is all over the world. So even though we might live in a different place, we might look different, speak different languages, we have a lot in common and that's important for us to remember. Now what I'd like you to do is find someone at home or a friend at school and think about how are you similar to that person? What traits or characteristics do you have that are the same? And how are you different? It's important that we can notice and recognize these things so we understand and remember how we are each unique. If there's no one around you right now, you can think about me, Mrs. McCarver. Is there anything that's the same about us? What's different about you and I? Take some time to talk about this with someone at home or at school.